Hey boys and girls, what's up? I'm Don Yunurie and this behind me here is one of the more ambitious 3D printing projects I've done through the years. It's the OpenRC Truggy, which is basically a 3D printed 1 to 10 scale RC car. And one of the things with this car I spent the most time working on was the drivetrain. With all the internal drive shafts and the differentials are all 3D printed. The outer drive shafts are store bought, but the rest is 3D printed. And getting that to work was a huge amount of work. And I've not shown this on video before, I think, so I thought I'd just give you guys a quick rundown on what it looks like and how it works. So basically here, what I've already done is I've um, removed all the screws from the top deck. And we can remove the cover for the central differential. And what it does is transfer the power to the front and the rear differentials, which in turn uh, transfer the powers uh, to the left and the right tire. And basically, if you don't know what a differential means, uh, this means that one of the wheels can spin faster or slower than the other, uh, which uh, is making turning easier as well, because if you turn, the inner tire will spin slower than the outer one. So anyway, what we got here is the central differential, and the internal parts, the gear and everything, the outer measurements on the front, the middle, and the rear differential are all the same and you can basically replace these with metal parts metal uh, differentials that you buy in the store and the internal drive shafts as well so the front and the rear differential are housed in here in this little cover so i thought i'm just gonna remove that cover and show you what it looks like on the inside <laughs> so the front and the rear housing are exactly the same so you can just print the same part twice for these two Alright, so I don't think I've removed this cover since I last drove it and made uh, the last Truggy video back in 2014 and I think it looks pretty good. It's a bit, dust, a bit dusty in there, but considering the driving I did, I think it's held up pretty good. So this is what the differential looks like. And let's take it apart. So the internal drive shafts are printed in polycarbonate. And the differential housings are also printed in polycarbonate. But the... Uh, oh, that actually looks pretty good. Looks like... They've held up pretty good. So the gears are printed in ABS. I'm actually kind of surprised that I, they look so good. Still runs pretty smooth. Oh, huh, that's cool. All right, so yeah. They look pretty good. So that's the uh, the drivetrain run through quick video, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any more updates on this. But I am gonna. I have the gear here on the motor got destroyed, so I'm gonna replace that and put in the missing electronics, which is basically. A receiver, I think, and we should be good to go. Awesome! So, if you want to build one of these yourself, you can either check out the uh, Google Plus community or the Facebook group. You can ask any questions there or comment this video. Uh, you decide what's best for you. But, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching this video. You can like, share, subscribe, all that stuff if you like. If you don't, then you don't have to. But I hope you stick around enough to uh, 
see me make another video. Thanks for watching.